No, because your mental health is important. Speaking of mental health crisis, here's the story of the time that I got sober on accident. You're right. I was living with somebody. I was in a relationship. I thought it was going well. Turns out it wasn't. So we broke up. Then we had to live together in the same house for 50 days. That's right, five zero. Don't go in the comments all about, well, you could have moved out or you could have done that. Trust me, if there was a will, there was a way, there wasn't a way, and we had to do that, okay? So I brilliantly am like, you know what? This might be painful, but it doesn't have to be dramatic. I'm not gonna drink for the duration of being in this house. <laughs> Friends, after you don't drink alcohol for 50, again, that's five zero days, after you've had a plethora of alcohol, anywhere from like mm, three to five IPAs almost every single night for quite a long time. I'm, I'm sorry, am I just bragging now? What's gonna happen is suddenly you are going to begin to realize after being sober and just like in it, especially feeling all those feels, for as much as that was happening, I was like, oh, I think I might have a problem with alcohol. And then more and more and more, I'm like, I don't want to go back to this thing because I was feeling better. And well, I was feeling absolutely awful. My life was in pieces. You know what I mean? Like if you're just like a spiritual girly, it was the tower card. Do you mean like uh, things were not well? <laughs> But I knew that if I chose to go back and drink, if I chose to go back and do things the way that I've always done them, that was the worst choice for me that I could make. So here I am six and a half years later, just living life sober and feeling good. So I'm just saying, if you get to that point and you're also in a mental health crisis, been there, done that, got the t-shirt. Love you, mean it.